All right, happy Monday morning. We're just gonna warm up with um, a couple of little tin soldiers just kicking your foot to your hand, hand to your foot. Let's see if Maria gets on. So let's get started with that, and then we're gonna walk out to, up to our mat. Hi, Maria, good morning. We're starting with just some um, alternating kicks like Karen's doing. So let's go ahead and just reach our arms forward. You can take both arms, or you can do a single arm. Just a little tin soldier. And if for any reason you need to bend your knee, bend your knee. I'm going to just put this down here. And we're going to go through this for another 40 seconds. Good. Warm up your hip flexors, your abdominals, your shoulders, back and front of your body. All right. Great. Hi, Cindy. Good morning. See, Cindy's still outside. She's brave. All right, you got 20 seconds. Take both arms this time for the last 20. Just straight leg kicks, 10 soldiers. All right, you got 10 seconds coming up. Stand at the back of your mat in three, in two, in one. Let's walk out. Walk your hands forward and walk your hands back. That's all we're doing right here. I'm wider than my mat because I slide on both the floor and the mat. So I'm just keeping my feet wide for a good base of support. All right, we've got 10 seconds. We're gonna stay in the walkout. Again, it's not a high intensity workout, just timed. In three, two, one. Come back to your hands and knees. Right leg forward, hands on top of the thigh. World's greatest stretch. We're gonna stay here for 20 seconds. You can move forward and back or anything you need to do to amplify, modify, or whatever you need to do in five more seconds. Oh, I have to turn on my watch. In three, two, and one. Hands down, switch legs. Left leg comes forward. Get it forward far enough that you can drop your back hip underneath you and that your hands are on top of your thigh. Good. All right. Hold here for 15 seconds. All right, in 10, we're back to our standing behind the mat. Three, two, hands down, step back. Walk your hands back in, stand up. Let's do that one more time, walk it out. Abdominals nice and tight. Come all the way up. Bend your knees to walk out. You can add a push-up if you want. Still, you know, you're warm up, but you, you choose. 10 more seconds. In three, two, one. Knees down, right leg forward. This time stretch your arms over your head, hook your thumbs, pull your shoulders back and down, bring your rib cage underneath you. Yeah, just tuck the tailbone underneath you. Belly and ribs down. Big stretch for the psoas. Oh, lift your heart up. You got five seconds. Three, two, change sides. All right. Last time, right here, hook the other thumb. Lift your arms up. Drop your ribs down. So when you lift your arms up, make sure you're not bringing them back and pooching out right here, right? So keep your tailbone tucked underneath you. You got 20 seconds, I got 15. All right, we're gonna come back up to our walk out. In three, in two, and one. Arms down, legs back, and walk your hands back in, and roll yourselves all the way up. Okay, so our first exercise we're going to work for 20 seconds with 10 seconds off in between six sets equals three minutes, something like that. All right, so we're going to start with a um, tempo squat. We're going to come down for one, two, three. When we come up, arms come up overhead. One, two, three. I'm just going to adjust this camera a little bit more. All right, so you people at home can see better. All right, so pick up your weights. The 10 seconds, obviously, it goes pretty quickly. 
So use a weight that you can accommodate yourself with. And we're going to get started. Everybody wrap the weights at your shoulders. Big up. All right, in three, two, one. So we're coming down in one, two, three, press up. One, two, three, press up. Drive through your heels. One, two, three, press up. Right through the heels. You're almost there already. Five seconds, three, two, and one. Put your weight down for a second. Eight seconds in here. We're gonna do it again. Rack your weights at your shoulders. Three, two, one. One, two, three, drive up. One, two, three, drive up. Press through your heels. One, anytime you wanna change your weights, you're welcome to it. One, two, three, press up. One, two, three, 10 seconds. I was just thinking, where's Rosemary? Two, three, and rest. All right, good. Warm yourself up if you need to row. Rack your weights in three, two, go. Squat, two, three, press up. One, two, three, press up. One, two, three, press up. One, two, three, you got five seconds. Ooh, three, and bring it down. That's a rest. All right, you're halfway through. Yeah, loving it, aren't you? All right, rack it. Three more sets, three, two, and go. One, two, three, press up. As you're coming up, you're pressing your arms up. Good, so the work comes from the glutes. Little power, five seconds, three, two, and one. Woo, all right. Happy Monday, guys. All right, not long. Rack it, three, two, one. Squat, two, three, drive up. Squat, two, three, drive up. Keep going. Five more seconds. Woo, three, two, and one. Last round. Last round. And my heart's uh, beating a little bit here. Rack it. Three, two, go. One, two, three, press. Sit back like you're sitting in a chair. One, two, press. 10 seconds. And press. Ooh. Good. Three, two, and one. All right. Round one done. Circuit one. All right? You can take recovery. It's okay. <laughs> it's recommended. All right, the next round, we're going to do the same amount of time. We're going to switch some of the time up. But the next uh, round is piston rows, where we bring one arm up, one arm down. At the same time, you're moving forward and back. All right? 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. All right. Ooh, boy, am I so winded, huh? -uh. Okay, pick up your weights. Piston rows, you can go heavy. All right, hinge from the torso, bend the knees, keep them soft. In three, two, and one. Row. Good. That's it. Yeah, halfway. Three, two, and one. Short break. <laughs> First set and winded again. All right. Bend over. Second round. Three, two. Let's go. One. Pull it back. That's it. Stay on it. Woo. Good morning. Five, three, two, one. Two down, four to go. You all look super happy. Three, two, one. Change lean arms. Just give yourself a little, yeah, a little change of pace. Five seconds. 
three, two, and one. All right, halfway. <laughs> Joy 10 seconds. All right, in three, two, go. If you always start with your right arm, start with your left once in a while, like maybe every other set. Five, three, two, and rest. Last two rounds. How those arms doing? Biceps are feeling it already. All right, hinge forward in three, two, one. Stay on it. I mean, you got this. That's it. You can add a little flavor to it. If you like that little rotation, just make sure it's not over rotated. Five seconds, four, three, two, and one. Ah, final set. Now we're going to change it up just a little bit. It's going to be a little bit longer. All right, in three, two, last one. Stay with me. You got five seconds. Three, two, and one. Put your weights down. Get a little stretch here. Your biceps took some of the work there. And just open shut. Open shut then. All right. Uh, I'm in Babyville. All right. Now, we move on time a little bit more. A little bit longer time, a little bit less recovery. We're going to come into a static lunge with the right leg back, weight over your right shoulder. And we're going to cross body chop right side. This one is going to be three rounds, 45 seconds work, 15 seconds to recover it. All right? One heavy weight. We'll do three rounds on the right. And then, of course, we'll do three rounds on the left. So pick up one heavy weight if you have a heavy weight. Uh, medicine ball works as well. Kettlebell works as well. All right, so right hand holds the, or hand goes over your right shoulder. Step your right foot back. Good, ready? In three, two, and go. So, cross the body, chop. Good. Now you can even just hold the lunge and just work from the rotation. Your choice. Make sure your back leg is back far enough that you're not on a tightrope. And you have about 20 seconds. Good. Longer arms, more shoulder. Good. You got 10 seconds. Three. Nah, not yet. Three, two, and one. Same side. Same side. Right leg back. Weight over your right shoulder to start. Step back. Right leg, right arm, throw arms up, three, two, go. Good, cross body chop. Good. If you wanna step forward and back each time, that's fine. Or, if, yeah, you can step to the front, probably easier, halfway there. Good, so. Get a little abdominal work in here. Dedicated, but we're still working legs, shoulders. Still feel those biceps happening in there. Five, three, two, and rest. Last set on this side. Woo! All right. Enjoy your rest time. Step back with your right foot. Shoulder, over the right shoulder. Three, two, let's go. All right, that's it. From right shoulder, left hip, right across the body. Good. Get outside of your hip. Yeah, let it just, it's a chop. Outside of your left hip.
Hang in 15 seconds, guys. Last <laughs> 10, excuse me. Three, two, and one. Switch sides, but let's take a short break. Take a short little break, catch your breath. This time your left leg goes back or you're stepping forward and back and the weight is over your left shoulder to start. All right, here we go. Left leg back, weight over the left shoulder. Three, two, go. All right. Cross body chop. Yeah. Third of the way. Check out your front knee, Karen. Keep it a little bit more in line with your hip and toe. So it's turning in a little bit. That's our glute, probably. Let's stay strong. If you can bend your knees, Maria, I don't know. Unless you're feeling something going on. You got it. eight seconds. Three, two, one. Short rest, short rest. Make sure you have a wide enough stance between your legs that your front knee doesn't exceed your ankle. Left leg back, arms up over left side. Three, two, chop. If you want more shoulder, keep the arms a little longer. Your shoulders are getting plenty of work. Get right outside your hip, all the way outside your hip. Get that rotation. You can always hold your leg in one position, or you can come up and down or step forward and back, 15. Sometimes I do notice my front knee going in as well. Um, so just be conscious of it, right? Happens on a lunge all the time. Left leg back, arms up, big step will help. Three, two, go. Last set. Good work. Yeah, so if you're not doing the legs, you're still getting the rotation, still getting the shoulders, you're halfway there. Ever notice how long 45 seconds can be? And how short 15 can be? 15 to go. It's only not short when it's the last 15 seconds of your rep, it's short when it's your recovery. Five seconds, three, two, and one. All right, grab some water, wipe yourselves down. Moving rapidly today. Again, it's not really a high intensity, it's a high intensity, it's a uh, metabolic kind of workout with the weights, with the time, but um, we're not doing any bouncing, so it's not a plyometric or high intensity in that way. All right, next exercise is our last standing exercise is a W curl, bicep curl, right? So externally rotated shoulder, arms up and down. You got 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds to recover, each set. And we've got six of them, all right? So pick up your weights that you can use for six sets. If not, you can change your weights in between. It's a short in between. All right, pick up your weights in three, two, go. Good. Slight bend in the knees. You can lean a little forward with your torso rather than being back here, right? Five. Three, two, and one rest. All right, it's short. It's really short, so we're not gonna put the weights down unless you're changing them. Rotate your shoulders open. Three, two, go. Good. All right, y'all look good there. You wanna count reps, count reps. 
Five seconds. And rest. All right, two down. You saw that face drop. <laughs> All right. Open up, three, two, go. This makes us halfway through. Good, bend your knees, tuck your tailbone, keep your abs nice and strong. Five, three, two, and one. Oh, if you chose lighter weights, you're probably really happy right about now. All right, turn it up. Three, two, go. We're halfway there. Abs are nice and tight. Five seconds. Three, two, one more. Ugh. Yeah. Morning, Monday. Here we go. Open it out. Three, two, go. Two more rounds. That's it. challenging to continue. Three, two, one, right? You should have a little bit of struggle. If you're not struggling, perhaps the weight's too light. All right, three, two, last round. Let's do it. Especially on a movement like a bicep curl, you know, an overhead press. Ooh, yeah. Five seconds. Three, two, and one, yeah. I definitely had the struggle. I definitely had the struggle. All right, we're gonna go down to the floor. Grab everything near you. Weights, water towel, whatever you need. All right, Woo. All right, first, let's just stretch our biceps for a little bit. Take your fingers forward, point them down, switch sides, and then take your arms behind your back and just lift your chest open. All right, so now, I know some of you like to have your weights on your pelvis when we do bridges. You're more than welcome to continue with that here. All right, we're going to do a single leg, let me just see, a single leg bridge with a holding of the bridge, so in other words, when you're up there, you're holding the bridge, right? So we're holding a static hold, a static hold. Hips are up, the left glute will be on fire when the right leg's in the air. We are gonna switch halfway through, so about 22 and a half seconds on each leg. All right, lay down on your backs. If you want to weight on your pelvis, go ahead and put it there. If you'd like a weight in your hands over your chest, you can put it there. Or no weight is necessary. We've got body weight, and it's an isometric hold. All right, three, two, right leg in the air, one. So, right leg up, hip is up. Now bring your knee in line with your other knee. Push your left heel down into the floor. I'm gonna hold this so you can see it as well. All right. Now when we change legs, keep your hips up, please. In three, two, right leg down, left leg up, and then bring the knee in line with the knee. Keep squeezing the right glute. Hold it up, hold it. Yeah, resist. Stay with, stay with it. You've got 10 seconds, no you've got five, four, three, two, Feet down, hips down. You can hug your knees in. And you know, you know I love a little spinal twist after a bridge. We have just enough time to get there. Then bring your feet down again. Tilt your pelvis. Lift your hips, right leg in the air. Right knee by knee. Okay, hold here. Press down through your shoulders, press down through your feet. Can you bring the knees in line with each other? Lift your hips. Should feel a nice burn, or maybe not so nice, right? 
When we switch legs, the hips stay up in three, in two, right leg down, left leg up. You can bring it up and then bring it knee by knee. Now lift the right glute up again. You might most likely kind of fell down a little bit, right? Stay with me, 10 seconds. Ooh, yeah. Here we go for five. Keep lifting the hip up, three, two, and one. Hug your knees into your chest, a little relief. One more time, isometric hold, feet down, hips up, right leg in line with left knee, go. Press through your shoulders, press through your left heel. Squeeze it, flex the right foot, lengthen the right leg out of the hip, abdominals and strong and tight. All right, five seconds, we change sides, keep your hips up, three, two, leg down, left leg up, then push again harder through your right leg, left knee by right knee, so in line with the knees, not up to the ceiling, push through your right glute, abdominals are working here too, stay strong in five, in four, in three, two, feet down, one, Hug your knees to your chest. Ah. All right, let's take that spinal twist now. Nice dedicated spinal twist over to the left side. And switch sides. And come on back to center. Okay. Chest press. Chest press. Traditional chest press. This is the 60 seconds of work, 10 seconds of recovery. If you want to keep your hip in that bridge, that's fine. If you want to keep your feet down, that's fine. Or any variations, okay? Arms are up over your chest unless you're leaning on a bench or a ball or something that elevates you. Right over the center of your chest. You've got 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds to recover. In three, two, in one. All right, 20 seconds. It's really hard to see my clock. I've got to find a better place for it. Keep going. All right, we got five seconds. Three, two, one. Rest. Remember, use a heavy enough weight that the last couple of rounds are going to be very challenging. On your back, arms up in three. Two, go. I like my legs up, it imprints my spine better for me. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, short 10 second break. It's very short. All right, arms up. Three, two, go. Don't bounce down and rebound. All right, you've got five seconds. Three, two, and one. All right. Three more times. On your back. Begin. Good. Close. Slow and controlled. Just because we're timing it doesn't mean you have to go faster. We'll go with the less is more category today. Three, two, and one. All right. Last two rounds. Remember, you're going to get a little shaky if your weights are appropriate. Heavy. On your back. Three, two, go. So we're looking for a little bit of um, fatigue. Five, three, two, and rest. Your final set for this. On your backs, three, two, go. Last 
10. Three, two, ah, one. Nice work. Sit up, guys. Take your arms behind you. Do that stretch again. Open up your shoulders and chest. Whew. Kind of rough on a Monday morning, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know why Monday's any different than any other day. I guess I don't feel like there's weekends anymore. Now, back to a bridge with or without a weight at your hips. Figure four bridge. So again, it's an isolated, this one we're going to come up and down. So it's an isolated one-sided bridge, right? But we'll also get a nice little stretch on the other side. All right, so lay on your back. Right ankle above left knee. Left side glutes in four, three, two, one. Let's go. Up, down. Now, just remember, because your leg is crossed, doesn't mean anything in terms of um, how your back lands. Make sure you scoop out your belly. Oh, and I didn't tell you, we're switching halfway through, right? So you got five more seconds. Just don't skip your middle back and hit your tailbone. Three, two, one. Switch legs, go right up into it. Don't wait for anything, it's not, the time is still running. So now your right glute is firing up. And you get a little stretch on your left. If you want more hamstring, walk your feet out further, go on your heels. You got five seconds. Three, two, and rest. Hug your knees into your chest. Give a little relief to your lower back. Put your feet back down on the floor. Tilt your pelvis, right ankle above left knee, in three, two, go. Up, down. So again, middle, upper, and lower on the way down. Or upper, middle, lower on the way down. Excuse me, lower, middle, upper on the way up. So while we're getting a, a glute work on the left side, we're getting a nice stretch on the right side. Good, in about five seconds, we're gonna switch sides. Four, three, two, one. Switch sides, keep going. Right up and down, right up and down. Nothing changes here. Just the leg, just the side. 15 seconds. Keep going. Upper, mid, lower. Just don't skip that middle back and hit your tailbone. Three, two, and one. Hug your knees in. You got one more round here. Right ankle crosses over. Hips up in three, in two, in one. Let's go. Yeah, your glutes should be saying, thanks Monday morning for waking me up for the week. Five seconds. You go in three, two, switch sides, left leg up, go right back up. Upper mid, lower on the way down, lower mid, upper on the way up. Flex your left foot, get a nice release. Ooh. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. Legs up into your chest. Cross the right leg over the left leg, grab your ankles. Good, 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 good. Open your arms to a T, move your knees over to the left side and stretch. Got a couple more exercises, a couple more circuits to go, but I want to get a little relief into the lower back and hip. Uncross the legs, move to the center. Left leg crosses over the right. Hold it in. Open the arms, move your hips left, let your knees come over to the right side. Uncross the legs, come on back. Hug your knees to your chest. All right, now you can choose to use one weight or two weights. We're gonna do a pull over crunch. We're back to the 20 seconds of work. Pull over and a crunch. So the arms touch behind your head on the floor, and then we come up and we crunch. All right, so again, we've got that 20 seconds of work with, um, oops, with 10 seconds of recovery. 
pullover crunch. If you want to add legs in the crunch, that's fine as well. All right? So you choose, and you can hold your weight the long way or the short way, whatever kind of suits you. All right, on your backs, arms up. Three, two, and one. Go. Crunch. Oops. All right. So you can bring your legs up one at a time or both legs at a time. You choose or just do the basic movement. And when they say basic movement, it's not basic. It's just the groundwork. Three, two, and rest. All right, comes back fast. In three, in two, crunch, pull over. Exhale on the way up. Inhale on the way down. Yeah, you can edge your legs. 10 seconds, you less than 10. Three, two, and one, rest. Good. If you feel that your neck is um, tiring, just get rid of the weight and put your hands behind your head. Ready, set, go. Try to get the weight all the way over your head to the floor. And then crunch, use your upper body. So keep your arms, don't, you don't have to straighten your elbows, Karen, but I want you to bring your upper body up with you. Three, two, and rest. So in other words, I mean, you can make it a tricep, but it's just, it's a pullover, so upper back chest. Three, two, go. All right, three more rounds. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, two more rounds. See what you need to get out of this. No, I don't have my workout. In three, <coughs> two, go. <coughs> Remember there <coughs> should be, excuse me, should be a little bit of fatigue happening in all the body parts here. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Whew. All right. Last set on your backs. Ready? Three, two, go. Belly in, ribs down. Count down five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh, move your weights away. All right, grab some water, wipe yourself down. We have another um, circuit. This is going to be 30 seconds of work a couple times over, and then you're free to go on your way on your day. So this one is abdominals control. Starting with your feet on the floor, hands behind your head. Legs are in a wide diamond, a wide diamond. So you don't have to worry about pulling your heels into your groin, okay? It's not so important there. And then we're just gonna start with a crunch. Just listen for the cues. I'm gonna just cue you through it, and I'll get you turning every um, 30 seconds. We'll put another exercise in there, all right? So start with the soles of your feet together on the floor. Knees wide, hands behind your head to support your head, not to move your head forward and back, right? The head doesn't change. In three, two, one, crunch. So right here, look straight down the body, right down the center of your, I don't know, I can see the, the, the line of the stitching of my pants, my Lululemon Align pants, right down to the heels in the same line. Now we're gonna take this same position in the air in about five seconds. Nothing changes in our upper body. Three, unless you look higher. Two, one, legs up. Same position, knees are over the hips. So don't bring your knees in. Yeah, you can have your arms, if you wanna hold on to your, um, or release your head, you're welcome to do that. Good, keep going. 
We're going to take elbow to opposite knee next. So do not bring your knees over your chest. Lift your, not yet, Marie. We got about 10 seconds. I know, it's going to feel better. <laughs> All right, three, two, and cross elbow to opposite knee. Good. Now, just like our chops, try to get to the outside of your body. Nice work, guys. Let the arm on the floor assist you in the rotation. You're almost there. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. All right, short break. You can take that spinal twist again if you'd like. I, you know, I just always love this. Okay. Soles of the feet on the floor. Hands behind your head. All right, in three, two, crunch, go. All right, hands are there just to support the weight of your head. Some of you are frozen. I hope that you can still hear me. Well, here we got this video going. All right, I see you again. <laughs> All right, in about five seconds, we take the same movement in the air. Feet come up in three, in two, in one, legs up. Knees are over your hips, not over your belly. Stay wide, pull the belly in. You want a little extra credit, you can lift your hips off the floor. Ooh, yeah, your choice. Don't let the legs move. Keep the legs steady, good Michelle. Three, Two, elbow to opposite knee, in one, go, side to side. You can stop in the center, or you can roll through it today. So again, keep your knees over your hips, not over your chest. So you've got to lift your torso up and rotate a little bit more. you got 10 seconds. All right, I'm not giving you a rest this time in between. In three, two, your feet are on the floor. Crunch, last set. Look right down the middle of your body. Straight down, you should see your heels in the same line as your pubic bone. Knees are open. Knees stay wide the whole time. Yeah, good. All right. Last time for the next one, legs up in three, two, one. Knees over hips. And it's not often I just work like rectus abdominis work because it's not as efficient as some of the other stuff, but we've done a lot of cross body chopping and whatnot today, so we're good. Uh-oh. You got 10 seconds. Remember the bonus is your hips off the floor. Three, two, twist. Hips can still stay off the floor. She's back. Welcome back, Sin. Okay, last round here. And for us, it's another 15 seconds. Last 10 seconds. Back to those crunches, Sin. 30 seconds of each. You got three, two, and one. Oh, hug your knees into your chest. Keep your right leg in and stretch your left leg out in front of you. Release the hips. Open the right knee to the right side a little bit wider. Left hand on your hip. Left hand outside, right knee twist. Right arm over your head. Cindy keeps getting thrown off the internet. Open your arms back out. Bring your knees back to your chest. Left leg stays in. Right leg comes out. And then bring your right hand on your right hip. Left knee. I'm sorry you keep getting cut off, Cindy. We're stretching now. 
knee to the outside. Good job for you guys on Monday morning. It's not, not so easy. Take your left hand across the body and twist. And cross the leg, come back in. Hug the knees to the chest. And rock and roll to your hands and knees. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Little cat-cow action. And then come to neutral, walk your arms out. Chest down, head down, hips up. And then sit all the way back to your heels. Slide forward, keep your knees down, and just stretch the front of your belly. Extend your spine. Whew. Look over your right shoulder. Look over your left shoulder. Look to the center. Push your hips back to your child's pose. Walk your hands back to your knees. Tuck your toes. Come into a forward fold. Take your arms behind your back. Interlace your fingers, palms down, up, head up, up, head down, arms up, head and fold. Bend your knees. I'll tell you what, guys, my, my hamstrings are still sore from last Wednesday. And I don't do half of what you do, so I can only imagine. Relax your arms, chin to chest, roll up slowly through your spine. Oh, take a big breath in. Exhale, open up your arms. Oh, hug yourself. Do it again. And then you are done at home. Stay home safe and stay healthy. Never forget.